Hi everybody, this is Sonia, and this is Cat Crazy Creations Crochet. I hope everybody is doing well today, and that you've had a lot of um, crocheting or crafty time over the last couple of weeks since I did my last video. Um, for all of you that are returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. I do appreciate you. Um, for those that are new, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this video and that you find some things that you enjoy. And if you do, um, please hit the subscribe button down below. And anyway, welcome. Um, today, I have some finishes for you. I have a whip or work in progress. Um, I have my giveaway winners that I will announce for the circle throw and for the flamingo. And let me see. And I have some plans that I want to talk about that will be coming up. And I want to talk about um, a few podcasters. Well, a couple of them actually. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to show is a whip. A couple of videos ago I told you I was going to make some more of those um, hand knit cookies because I am going to be displaying them. And anyway, I started making the cookies. So here are all the cookies before I put the brown on them. So this is what they look like. This side. Before I put anything on them or put the felt on the back. So that is the hand knit part of it. Okay, so what I have completed so far without the felt is I have three of these made. So I am going to show you close up. And all this is is just a brown yarn, four ply yarn. And you just make lines across there, and it looks like a Samoa cookie. So that's what I have done with these. And now all I've got to do is put the backs, the felt back on them, and then they will be complete. So, like I said, I've still got to do all of these. So, on my next video, these will be done and I will have them displayed for you so that you can see them. So that's my work in progress. It's really quick. Really, really quick. I really enjoyed doing the hand knitting. I'm going to try to find some more patterns um, so I can make some more different things that way. It's a very quick process. Okay, now my finish. Okay. On my last video, I showed this crochet dishcloth. It was the summer fan. Well, I had enlarged this. And I was not so sure if I wanted it to be placemats or if I was going to do table runner with it. So what I decided to do was do table runner. So I made two of them. I'm keeping one for myself. I'm going to give one to my mom. So here they are. This one. So here's the table runner. They're nice size. And 
I think they're just going to look really pretty in the middle of the table during the summer. With like a centerpiece in the middle. Very pretty. And this was basically um, double crochet, um, single, single crochet, and half double crochets. That's all this was. Very easy. I just made two, sewed them together in the middle, and then made the table runner. So there's that one, and then there is this one as well. And the only difference in the two is this stripe right here. So the, this one had this stripe, and this one had this one on there. That's the only difference. And they're about 19 inches long and 11 and a half inches wide. So they're a nice size for a table. So it went from this to a table runner. So I would suggest, I love doing this, take a pattern and make it your own. All I did was add nine more rows to this pattern. I kept the, um, I, you know, like the last row of them, whatever the last two rows were, because they changed back and forth. I just kept it that same pattern for the next nine rows. So that's all I did. And I made something completely different with it. So, you know, it never hurts if you like something and you think it would be good as something else, then, you know, go ahead and give that a try. So really like that. And the other finish is the pig. Here it is. I finished the pig. Really like it. Really like how it turned out. These, the feet, were supposed to be folded flat, but I decided to go ahead and just stuff them. And it stands, stands really good. So there is my amigurumi pig, and I love it. Very nice, I just put the button eyes on, and the snout, I just put some dark color yarn on there. And the pig itself is made out of 100, the 100% 100 cotton yarn. So sugars and cream. Sugar and cream. Yeah, very, very cute. Love the tail. Very cute. So that was my other finish. Really enjoyed working on all of these projects. I really did. Really had a good time with all of them. Even the cookies. Okay, now what I'm going to talk about is um, in my last video I had talked about a new podcast that I had found called The Secret Yarnery. And I hope you guys went and checked her out. She is very, very good and I know that you will love watching her podcast once you do so. Um, she does a lot of tutorials. She does a lot of cows, which is crochet alongs. Um, at the end of her videos, she lives in Kenya, so at the end of her videos she, so, she shows maybe um, between five and ten minutes of um, Kenya. She takes you around with her maybe shopping um, her last video, she went to an animal orphanage, so we got to see a lot of the wild animals of Africa. Um, very, very interesting. And I think you guys would really enjoy her, so please go check her out. I will put her 
her information in the description down below. Anyway, she is doing a corner to corner cow, and I had never done one, so I am participating in that. And this is where I'm at so far. And this just started, so, and it's on Facebook. So if you go over, you know, subscribe to her, and if you want to do her cows and stuff, um, you know, go ahead and sign up with the face, her Facebook group and get right on in there. But this is the start of my corner to corner. And she gives you step by step. She does the tutorial for each step. This is the increasing. She has one out now. That I will be following when I get ready to decrease and it shows you she'll show you how to decrease but really really loving this very simple I, I thought this would be very complicated to do but it's not it's very easy to do the corner to corner and I'm using Bernat um, this didn't have a ball band on it but it's very very soft it's chunky kind of nubby so you guys might know what it is but anyway very very soft make a very good blanket and that's what I'm making some people are making shawls they're just gonna go the triangle and make the shawls I'm gonna do an afghan blanket so some of them are doing them for like sh the shrugs or the wraps so yeah so that's what I'm working on so please go check her out. Very good. I cannot stress enough. Okay, and I did find, this leads into my next thing. I found another podcaster that I would like you guys to check out. And it is, she is called The Proper Pineapple. Um, the Secret Yarnery, Krista, that I just talked about, she had shouted her out. And I was going to, I didn't write it down, and I was going to go check her out. And then one day, I was, you know, when you look through your videos and get ready to watch on the side, they have recommended for you to watch or whatever. I noticed the proper pineapple came up there. I thought, oh, that's that name that I forgot to write down. So I checked her out, and I really like her videos as well. She is all crochet. She has started learning to knit not too long ago, but her podcasts are basically, you're going to get probably 90% crochet. Um, the Secret Yarnery is all crochet. So anyway, um, I subscribe to her. I enjoy her videos. And she is doing an amigurumi um, cow crochet along and it started the second I think first or second of May and it goes through like June 15th so I am going to use this Vanna's Choice Easy Crochet Critters 10 Amigurumi Designs I'm going to use this book to make me some little critters and one of them that I'm interested in is this little giraffe. So I will probably be making this one as well. I like the lion, so that's a possibility. And where's the other? Where's the other one? Should have had these bookmarked. And I like this little guy, the little monkey. But we will see what I come up with. I'm definitely doing the, ze the zebra. Doing the giraffe. So this is a really cute book. So you guys need to check this out. It's Vanna's Choice Easy Crochet Critters. And it's by Leisure Arts. Okay, so the last thing that I am going to do is the giveaway winners. 
And what I do, I've already done this. I did it on random.org, the number generator. I put in the number of people and got the winner that way. So the first one was the Flamingo pattern. This is a Joanne free pattern. And this one goes to Metal Scrap and Chick. Congratulations. Kim, I do have your address, so I will get this out to you. And the next one I had was for the Circle Throw. And this is also a free pattern. This is a sugar and cream pattern. And this is the one that I made back here. Only I did not use um, cotton yarn. This is cotton yarn. But do it the way you want to do it. And so I just used a bunch of scraps in um, worsted weight for mine. So the winner of this is Jeannie Schwartz. Jeannie Schwartz. And I am going to need your address, Jeannie. So if you could get that to me, I will have my email in the description below. And I will get this out to you. Congratulations to both of you. Um, be looking for more future giveaways. Um, I will be doing these off and on. So be watching for more of those. So anyway, I think that is about it for this time. Um, I am very, very motivated to do crochet very motivated and the motivation I think comes from finding new people to watch and that's why I think it's really important for all of us to you know when someone shouts somebody out to really to go check them out because they might give you inspiration as well as you know we watch each other we get inspiration from each other but this might bring in new inspiration to us to do things like I did the corner to corner. I would have never done that if I wouldn't have seen that podcast. So, yeah, please go check these people out. And um, anyway, I think that's all for this time. Um, I want to thank everybody so much for, you know, watching, subscribing, liking, sharing. And commenting on my videos. I do answer all comments. Um, it takes me a few days but I do get back to you. I do answer your comments. If you have questions leave them in the comment section down below and I will get to those as well. Um, and like I said um, to the returning viewers thank you so much for returning for helping support my channel by watching and sharing my videos and welcome to anyone new that has found my videos um, I hope that you will come back so until my next video everybody have a fun crocheting crafty time